are mixing up the way they get students interested in learning. In tonight's Made in Our Hometown, Latricia Thomas shows us how students at the STEM school took on a project that taught them more than just science, technology, engineering, and math. Latricia. Well, there are lots of skills we use as adults that you can't learn from a book. How to problem solve and work with other people, how to manage your time even. It's those type of life lessons that the STEM school wants to teach their students along with something much more important. If you walk down the hall at Chattanooga STEM School, you may notice something is different. Say the students run the school, then the teachers and the administration just kind of follow along. But chemistry teacher David Van Zandt knew if his students followed in his footsteps by spending time with people with a range of abilities, they'd learn a lifelong lesson. It let the students and us just to get to know who they are, get to know, hey, they're, they're real people just like you and I, the only difference is, is they have, it's harder for them to get out what they're thinking. So they came up with a plan to team up with signal centers where adults with disabilities learn new life skills. There are a lot of things that they wish they had, that they just don't have the funding, they don't have the time, they don't have um, the resources to go after. Signal centers made a video for the students explaining their needs. We might do things different. We can do anything. And the kids got to work. It was kind of our first project that would have a direct impact on the community and do something helpful for them. This team of three juniors wanted to make it easier for Signal Center's clients to do something they loved. They were talking about how much they love to do art. The result? This desk that attaches to wheelchairs. And you, we use clamps to just connect it to any kind of wheelchair. So their art is within reach. The people there with physical disabilities have muscular issues and that makes it hard for them to maybe reach out as far to go out far onto a table and maybe paint onto a normal easel or onto a table. The student's invention now part of Signal Center's daily art routine. Just something as small as as a, as a platform that sits on a wheelchair can make a huge difference to some of those people and uh, and their and their lives. But it's not just the adults with disabilities who found a takeaway in this hometown project. They have interests, they have things that they need, but that's not all they are. Mr. Van Zandt's class was named a nationwide finalist for Samsung's Solve for Tomorrow contest for that project. If they win, the class could receive technology money for the entire school. Well, Trisha, thank you. If you'd like to learn more about this story, go to newschannel9.com and click on the features section. And while you're there, you also find out how you can nominate your own Made in Our Hometown success story. After a chilly day, it's a cold night out there. I'll tell you how